Good day everybody, this is the MIT integration B 2023 finals question. This is the last question that was actually given to the contestants and let us see how to solve this question. Now this is what is being given, integral 0 to 1, sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity the floor function of 2 raised to the power of n times x divided by 3 raised to the power of n the entire quantity summation is raised to the power of 2 times dx now because of the presence of the floor function this question is little bit complicated and having mentioned that let me start off by making the following substitution I am going to take let x be equal to 2 times u now the limits will be when x is equal to 0, u is going to be 0 and when x is equal to 1, u is going to be 1 over 2. So, I have already taken i to be equal to this integral. Let me place that beautiful word, let i be equal to this. So, because of the substitution, this is going to be integral 0 to 1 over 2 of sigma. Now, you can either write n is equal to 1 to infinity or you can simply state for all values of n greater than equal to 1. So values of n starts with 1 and it goes up to infinity. So this is followed by the floor function of 2 raised to the power of n. In place of x I have substituted 2 times u. So that's going to be 2u and complete the floor function. This is divided by 3 raised to the power of n and that is raised to the power of 2 and uh, dx if you were to differentiate is going to be 2 times the du you can place that du there and the 2 can be placed over here now what I wish to do is I would like to club the 2 raised to the power of n with this 2 now by the law of indices a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m positive n. So by that this is going to be equal to 2 times integral 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than or equal to 1 flow function 2 raised to the power of n times 2 that's going to be 2 raised to the power of n positive 1 times u complete the flow divided by 3 raised to the power of n this is raised to the power of 2 times du. Now what I wish to do is I would like to perform the following transformation perform the following transformation so what is the transformation I am going to push n to n negative 1 so that means this is going to be 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 positive 1 times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n negative 1 you got a floor here place the floor followed by sigma and then this raised to the power of 2 with the integral going from 0 to 1 over 2 and this is going to be multiplied with du. Now this is n greater than or equal to 1. Now because of the transformation that we have performed here the index variable will change. So this is going to be n greater than or equal to 2. So having given you that let me take away this negative 1 with positive 1 and rewrite 3 raised to the power of n negative 1 as 3 raised to the power of n times 3 raised to the power of negative 1. So this is going to be equal to 2 times integral 0 to 1 over 2 of sigma n greater than or equal to 2 floor function of 2 raised to the power of n times u complete the floor divided by 3 raised to the power of n times 3 raised to the power of negative 1 this is raised to the power of 2 times du. Now this is equal to 2 times integral 0 to 1 over 2 of sigma n greater than or equal to 2 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by now 3 raised to the power of n is going to be there now I am going to bring this 3 raised to the power of negative 1 out so that would be multiplied with 1 over 3 raised to the power of negative 2 times the du you got a 2 there so place that so this is what we have got now this is 3 raised to the power of negative 2 so that means 1 over 3 squared so if you had to flip it that will be 9 times 2 so 9 into 2 would become 18 so I can rewrite that so 18 times 
integral 0 to 1 over 2 of sigma n greater than equal to 2 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n positive. Now I'm going to add a 0. It's okay to add 0 because it's not going to do any harm. Of course, for the naked eye, adding or uh, subtracting 0 does no harm. But for people who are good in problem solving, adding a 0 is actually the all important thing that is needed to solve the question. So having mentioned that, let me show you what happens when I added 0 here. So this is the outcome, right? After simplifying, this is what we have got. Now, the value of u is moving between 0 and 1 over 2. So this means I can rewrite this as 0 less than 2 times u less than 1. Now, the values of u is between 0 and 1 over 2. Now, if you are going to take the floor of 2 times u, what would you get? Now, remember a floor function. Let me give you an example of a floor function here. Now, if you are taking the floor of 2.3, the outcome is going to be 2. If you are going to be taking the floor of 1.5, the outcome is going to be 1. So you are able to understand what it means to take the flow. When you take the flow, the integral quantity that you see here, that alone will be actually presented as output. So when you say flow, you are talking about the real actual flow. See 2.3 is actually resting on the flow of 2. Right? Even in the literal sense, that is the real fact. If there wouldn't be the flow, 2.3 would not be existing. So 2.3 is actually resting on the flow of 2. So that's exactly, that's the way we need to take things. Now, since the value of u is existing between 0 and 1 over 2, no matter what the value of u takes, the flow of 2u will always be equal to 0. So this would mean I can write the 0 as the flow of 2 times u divided by 3. It's not going to make any change. Since the since we are talking about the floor and the value of u is between 0 and 1 over 2, the floor of 2u over 3 is always going to be equal to 0. So using this concept, what I am going to do in place of 0, I am going to substitute this. So let me do that. So this is equal to 18 times integral 0 to 1 over 2 of sigma n is greater than or equal to 2, the floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 power n positive floor of 2 times u divided by 3 and that is raised to the power of 2 and multiplied with du. So all these things are all side notes for your understanding. Now this is uh, a quantity which can easily be generated for n greater than or equal to 1. Right. So if I were to take the value when n is equal to 1, I would generate the first quantity because 2 raised to the power of 1 is going to be 2 and you got a u and 3 raised to the power of 1 uh, in this case n, 3 raised to the power of 1 is going to be 3. So this is exactly what we are generating when n is equal to 1 onwards. So I would be changing this index. So this is going to be rewritten as 18 times integral 0 to 1 over 2 of sigma, I can club these two and change the index instead of n greater than or equal to 2, now n is going to be greater than or equal to 1. So n will be starting from 1 and this is going to be the floor function of 2 raised to the power of n times uh, u divided by 3 raised to the power of n and this is raised to the power of 2 and multiply with du. Right. So now what I wish to do is, it's time for me to go and consider the original function. So what is the, or I should say the original problem. The original problem is this. This is the original problem that we started with, right? And then the problem had now become like this. This is how the problem has uh, changed. And on the left you got i and this is the what we have got. Let me consider the original given uh, integral. The original integral, let me state here, the original integral given to us let me state that the original integral given to us is, what is the original integral? i 
is equal to integral 0 to 1 of sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity 2 raised to the power of n times x uh, the floor is there divided by 3 raised to the power of n this is raised to the power of 2 and dx now what I wish to do is I would like to change the variable x with u so if you were to be replacing so in, in fact even if you are going to make the substitution in place of x say if you are going to take let x be equal to u there wouldn't be any change at all so I am just going to state here replacing the x variable by u we get because it's just x and dx so I can safely replace it so this is going to be equal to 0 to 1 of sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity floor of 2 raised to the power of n u divided by 3 raised to the power of n raised to the power of 2 times du. Now I wish to divide this integral 0 to 1 into two parts. What I am going to do, I am going to divide it as from 0 to 1 over 2 and I am going to write this sigma n greater than or equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n now this is raised to the power of 2 times the du plus now this is 0 to 1 over 2 and I would be placing 1 over 2 to 1 right sigma n greater than or equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u complete the flow divided by 3 raised to the power of n this is raised to the power of 2 times du now this is what we have been dealing with so I don't want to do anything with this because I can easily evaluate this from the previous steps now I need to change this this is what that needs some work so what I would like to do is I would like to now take consider this part integral 1 over 2 to 1 sigma floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n this is raised to the power of 2 times du now what I wish to do is I would like to make a substitution let u be equal to t plus 1 over 2 so when u is equal to 1 over 2 let me write that down when u is equal to 1 over 2 what will happen here t will become equal to 0 and when u is equal to 1 you place u is equal to 1 what would be the value of t? t will be equal to 1 over 2 so literally what are you doing? you are trying to convert this integral limits from 1 over 2 to 1 to 0 to 1 over 2 so that it would be easy for us to compute so this is going to be 0 to 1 over 2 of sigma floor 2 raised to the power of n times u now this is not going to be u because in place of u I would have to substitute t positive 1 over 2 so let me substitute t positive 1 over 2 parenthesis the floor divided by 3 raised to the power of n raised to the power of 2 times in place of du this is going to be dt so this is rewritten as integral 0 to 1 over 2 now this is a parenthesis so you distribute 2 raised to the power of n so that would be giving us sigma 2 raised to the power of n times t and you can also distribute sigma plus in fact before you could distribute sigma let that sigma be there we are we are dealing with the flow so let me evaluate the flow first and then I will handle the I will handle the other quantity so uh, the sigma um, can be taken care of a little bit later so this is 2 raised to the power of n times 1 over 2 that is going to be plus 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 so you got the floor there and this entire component is divided by 3 raised to the power of n and this is raised to the power of 2 times dt so this is how the picture or the situation looks now it is imperative to understand if you are dealing with flow now there is a formula now floor of x positive n is equal to if n is some integer suppose the quantity n is an integer value 
then the flow of x positive n is going to be flow of x positive n provided n is some integer right now clearly in this case the value of n now I, I, I said n is actually greater than or equal to 1 here yeah. n is greater than or equal to 1 and n is greater than or equal to 1 so when n is equal to 1 we are talking about an integer quantity right and when n is equal to 2 again we are producing an integer so this is equal to integral 0 to 1 over 2 of sigma now this is going to be floor of 2 raised to the power of n times t the floor is there plus 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 parenthesis this entire quantity is divided by 3 raised to the power of n this is raised to the power of 2 times dt so this is what we have got right so everything is in this fashion and the sigma is actually is for 2 raised to the power of n times t with the flow being there and it is also it is also for 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 now the thing is that I will have to put a bigger parenthesis here because this would be the right way this would be the right way to represent right because the square is outside the square is outside the sigma I think uh, this distinction is uh, perfect okay so now what I wish to do is I will have to go to the next page but before I could go to the next page let me put in one more step now what I wish to do is I would like to bring the sigma inside so this is going to be integral 0 to 1 over 2 and sigma floor of 2 raised to the power of n times t divided by 3 raised to the power of n plus sigma 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 that's going to be 1 over 2 so let me place that 1 over 2 here divided by 3 raised to the power of n now this entire quantity is raised to the power of 2 times dt so this is what we have to evaluate now I have run out of space so I need to change the next page so let me do that and I will continue so I'm on the new page and this is what I left you all with of course on the left side I got I now I need to evaluate this quantity so let me just consider 1 over 2 sigma 2 raised to the power of n divided by 3 raised to the power of n now this could be written as 1 over 2 sigma n greater than or equal to 1 2 over 3 raised to the power of n now this is a geometric series with the first term being 2 over 3 and the common ratio being 2 over 3 so therefore if I were to evaluate the sum the formula is given to be as a over 1 negative r and substituting is going to be 2 over 3 divided by 1 negative 2 over 3 which is equal to 2 over 3 divided by 3 negative 2 divided by 3 which I can evaluate it as 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 3 if I were to flip this this is 2 over 3 times 3 over 1 3 3 gets cancelled giving me 2 but this as a 1 over 2 so don't forget that 1 over 2 if I were to place that 1 over 2 the outcome will be 1 over 2 multiplied with the entire quantity so I got uh, 2 multiplied with 1 over 2 so that would mean the outcome is going to be 1 so now what I wish to do is I will utilize this 1 over here so this is equal to integral 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than or equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times t divided by 3 raised to the power of n positive 1 this is raised to the power of 2 times dt now I would like to utilize a positive b raised to the power of 2 formula which is a square plus 2ab plus b square so if I were to utilize this formula this 
is equal to integral 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times t divided by 3 raised to the power of n this is raised to the power of 2 of course dt is there positive and 2 times so I will have to, I will have to place a 2 here 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times t divided by 3 raised to the power of n this is dt right so this is what I have got and then plus integral 0 to 1 over 2 1 squared is 1 that is going to give me dt so this is what I have got now we are going to be utilizing a very important step of course on the left hand side I have got i so place that i now watch this what have we got what is this exactly now this is t and this is in fact this is dt this is t so what I wish to do is I can literally convert all the t's to u right it wouldn't have any impact for me so I would like to utilize so you can either you say replacing t with u limits won't change there wouldn't be any impact at all as I mentioned to you this is just t and this is dt so if you were to replace this you would be getting integral 0 to 1 over 2 of sigma n greater than equal to 1 2 raised to the power of n the floor is there u divided by 3 raised to the power of n raised to the power of 2 times du plus 2 times integral 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than equal to 1 the floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n du plus integral 0 to 1 over 2 du right now on the left I got u now let me consider this quantity consider integral 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n this entire thing is raised to the power of 2 times du now what is this exactly now let me just uh, flip and show you actually solving this you remember I started by considering this quantity so actually there is as I mentioned to you there is this particular integral which is the leading term we did not do anything to the leading term if you remember I already mentioned to you that this term can be evaluated and it can be evaluated for the very fact that we have produced a similar term like this over here so let me take this as some a now what I'm going to do I'm going to substitute the value that I received for integral negative uh, 1 over 2 to 1 sigma n greater than equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n that entire quantity is raised to the power of 2 times du so this quantity I have already evaluated so I am going to substitute that value there so what I have got here let me write that down here therefore a is going to be equal to i is equal to this this entire thing is going to be substituted there in a so this is actually present there so let me write that first term 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than or equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u this is 3 raised to the power of n this is a raised to the power of 2 times du plus I need to substitute this entire term so this is equal to 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than or equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n this is raised to the power of 2 times du plus the center quantity you need to place the center quantity plus followed by this term 2 times integral 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than or equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n times du plus now if you were to integrate this this is going to give you u if you were to substitute the upper limit minus lower limit this is going to be 1 over 2 so just place 1 over 2 
Now these two quantities can be added, so that is going to give me two times integral 0 to 1 over 2 of sigma n greater than or equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n this entire thing is raised to the power of 2 times du plus this quantity 2 times integral 0 to 1 over 2 flow sigma floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n times uh, du right plus 1 over 2 now this where did we see this do you remember where what exactly we got for this of course on the left you got i let me show you let me flip the page i need to flip the page to show you what exactly we got for this now you see here you see here this is integral 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than or equal to 1 the floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n of this anti quantity e is raised to the power of 2 times du now this is what we are actually having here you see that this is what we are actually having here so this value can be obtained from here so what is this value this value is actually can I write this as i divided by 18 is equal to integral 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than or equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n raised to the power of 2 times du can I do that so in place of this I'm going to substitute i over 18 right so this is going to be i over 18 so let me rewrite that so i is equal to 2 times i over 18 that's what I have got plus this entire quantity plus I need this 2 times right sigma floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n this entire quantity is multiplied with du of course the limits are 0 to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 right now I can push this entire quantity to the other side so in fact 2 can divide 18 9 times right so on the on the left hand side if I were to push this is going to be i negative i over 9 which would give me 8i over 9 so this is on the left side 8i over 9 is equal to this entire quantity I don't have uh, space I need to move to the next page so bear with me okay so a new page a beautiful page so we got 8 over 9 times i is equal to 2 times integral 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than or equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n times du plus 1 over 2 now let me consider this quantity alone consider integral 0 to 1 over 2 sigma n greater than or equal to 1 floor of 2 raised to the power of n times u divided by 3 raised to the power of n times du now I'm going to make a substitution let 2 raised to the power of n times u be equal to x so when u is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 when u is equal to 1 over 2 x will be equal to 2 raised to the power of n times 1 over 2 that is 2 raised to the power of n times 2 raised to the power of negative 1 which is 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 this is my value of x so the limit in this case is going to be 0 to 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 sigma n greater than or equal to 1 this is going to be equal to x and this is divided by 3 raised to the power of n in place of du okay let me get du if I were to differentiate I get 2 raised to the power of n times the du is equal to dx so du is equal to dx raised to, uh, multiply, uh, divided by 2 raised to the power of n so this is my du so in place of du you substitute dx over 2 raised to the power of n now what I wish to do is I will push I will interchange the operator integral operator with the sum I will flip them out so this is equal to 
sigma n greater than or equal to 1 1 over 3 raised to the power of n times 2 raised to the power of n times integral 0 to 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 the flow of x times dx now this is where we need to evaluate the flow now this is an important step you need to know now suppose you have a flow function 0 to n you are expected to integrate this now say for example we are considering the integration for 0 to 6 we are just considering 0 to 6 flow of x times dx now I am plotting the point this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 5 and 6 let me extend here this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now for all values now this can be rewritten as integral 0 to 1 floor of x dx plus 1 to 2 floor of x dx plus 2 to 3 floor of x dx plus 3 to 4 floor of x dx plus 4 to 5 floor of x dx plus 5 to 6 floor of x dx right now for all values of x between 0 and 1 what is floor of x for all values of x between 0 and 1 floor of x is just going to be 0 here right so this is going to be 0 let me substitute the value this is going to be 0 now for all values of x lying between 1 and 2 so what what, what exactly the floor of x in this case that's going to be 1 right that's going to be 1 over here so for all values of x lying between 2 and 3 what's the floor of x for va for values of x lying between 2 and 3 that's going to be 2 okay moving on for all values of x lying between 3 and 4 what's the floor of x between 3 and 4 between 3 and 4 the floor is going to be over here 3 and 4 and 5 for all values of x lying between 4 and 5 the floor of x is going to be 4 and between 5 and 6 the floor is going to be 5 you follow me so if you are going to be obtaining the area if you are going to be finding the area so what is going to be this area this area is is going to be 0 we don't have a height here over here the width is there width into into length right this all these are all rectangles so length into breadth so 2 minus 1 is 1 and this is 1 so area is 1 2 minus 1 1 this height is the width or height whatever you can say that's 2 so the area is 2 here and what do you get 3 minus or 4 minus 1 is uh, 4 minus 3 is 1 and the height is 3 so this is area is 3 and 5 minus 4 is 1 and the width or the height is 4 this is 4 6 minus 5 that's going to be 1 and the height or the width is going to be 5 you follow me so what you have got you got 1 2 3 4 5 1 added with 2 2 added with 3 3 added with 4 4 added with 5 so you are actually missing 1 this is getting removed this is this has got no area at all so this is what you're getting so you're getting if you are limit is from 0 to 6 ultimately you are ending up summing up quantities from 1 to 5 you follow what I'm trying to say so this is a very important concept when you are evaluating the flow so what would be the ultimate value if you were to integrate a flow function from 0 to n something like this what would be the value the value is nothing but the sum of all these terms right so you are going to be summing up for integral 0 to 6 you are summing up values from 1 to 5 so you one shot so the formula for this is going to be the outcome is going to be sigma k will be taking from 1 and the last value the last value will be one shot the last value will be n negative 1 and you are summing up the values of k so this is the all important formula for flow function which we will be employing it over here now in this case it is 0 to 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 so we are the outcome is going to be one shot 
right? The outcome is going to be one shot. Now, before we could actually integrate this, what I wish to do is I would like to flip the summation and the integral. So I have already flipped it over here. So this is what we are going to be having. Now, this is the integral that we are dealing with. So the outcome of this, so let me write that down here. So from this, if you are going to be integrating 0 to 2 raised to the power of n negative 1, the flow of x dx, this is going to be equal to sigma, the values of k will be running from 1 to 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 and 1 shot. This is going to be the value. Right? So, with this in mind, we have to evaluate this. We have to evaluate this value. So, how am I going to evaluate this? I am going to evaluate this by using this formula. Say, if I were to sum k from 1 to n, the formula is going to be n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Right? This is the formula, the most or the most famous formula if you want to sum up the terms. Now, in this case, we have got terms from sigma 1 to 2 raised to the power of n negative 1, negative 1. These, these are the terms that we have got. So, what we need to do is we need to substitute this over here. So, this is equal to 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 followed by negative 1 times 2 raised to the power of n negative 1, negative 1, positive 1 divided by 2. Negative positive goes away giving me 2 raised to the power of n negative uh, this is n negative 1 so let me just place that n negative 1 followed by uh, negative 1 this is 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 so this and this can be distributed by 2 so let me uh, multiply these two things so if I were to multiply these two things what do I get this is going to be 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 I am multiplying with this so that means the index the exponents have to be added so this is going to be plus n negative 1 okay followed by 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 now what is this of course divided by 2 is there so this is equal to 2 raised to the power of 2n negative 2 negative 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 divided by 2 so this is what we have got now I need to take this sum and substitute it over here. So, okay, let me just use this space. So, what do I, what did I initially get? This is n greater than or equal to 1, 1 over 3 raised to the power of n times 2 raised to the power of n. This is what we have got, right? This quantity has been evaluated to 2 raised to the power of 2n negative 2 negative 2 raised to the power of n negative 1 divided by 2 right so I can place that 2 over here now I can actually push this 2 raised to the power of n to the numerator so if you were to do that this is going to be sigma 1 over 2 let it be 1 over 2 outside and 1 over 3 power n so this is pushed and distributed if I were to do that, this is going to be 2 raised to the power of 2n, negative 2, take away a n, negative 2 raised to the power of n, negative 1, and you take away n. So, this n and this n can be cancelled, giving me 1 over 2, sigma, this is 1 over 3 power n, right? And this is n negative, this is 2 raised to the power of n negative 2 followed by negative 2 raised to the power of negative 1. This is what I've got. Now, this can be simplified. So, if I were to simplify this, this is going to be 1 over 2 sigma 1 over 3 raised to the power of n. This is 2 raised to the power of n divided by 2, right? 2, 2 raised to the power of negative 2 is going to be, this is going to be 2 squared, negative 1 over 2, right? So, sigma is actually coming all over and this is 2 squared. I can take this 2 squared out. So, 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So, this is 1 over 8 sigma 2 raised to the power of n divided by 3 raised to the power of n. This is one quantity negative and this is sigma 1 over 2 and there is no 
there is no n value there so this is just going to be 1 over 4 right so 1 over 2 times and there is a 3 power n so we need to take care of that so this is going to be I uh, one is good thing that I noticed that so 1 over 2 squared times sigma 1 over 3 raised to the power of n so this is what we have got so now we need to evaluate a few things so let me try to evaluate this this is equal to now this one we have already found this value right this one we have already found this value isn't it the value that we found is in the previous case was 2 so this is 1 over 8 times 2 negative 1 over 4 times now 1 over 3 raised to the power of n this is a GP right this is a GP so I can evaluate this by the formula so what is the formula formula is going to be a over 1 negative r so this is 1 over 3 divided by 1 negative 1 over 3 which is equal to 1 over 3 this is going to be 2 over 3 so if you were to take the threes away the value is 1 over 2 now this is 1 over 2 but already there's a 1 over 4 so 1 over 2 can be placed so this is going to be 1 over 8 times 2 negative 1 over 8 so if you were to evaluate this is going to be 8 2 negative 1 which is going to be 1 over 8 so this is 1 over 8 so this is the evaluation that we have got but this is not all that complete see we got we started off by stating consider right consider this so let me put in the value so this is 8 over 9 times i is equal to 2 times 1 over 8 is the value that we just got so 1 over 8 is substitute that plus 1 over 2 so if I were to evaluate this uh, 8 is the LCM 2 plus 4 and uh, this is going to give me 6 over 8 now on the left hand side now let me complete it here so this is 8 8 over 9 times i and you get 6 over 8 I need I need um, i so cross multiply 9 6 are 54 8 times 8 is 64 so the value of i is 54 divided by 64 units right so that is the solution for this question so it's a beautiful question it involves a uh, lot of uh, calculations thank you everybody enjoy your night